Reservation, ladies and gentlemen, isn't an issue just here in India. Our neighbor Bangladesh has been on the edge since the past two days after thousands of students armed with sticks and rocks clashed with the police in Dhaka. The confrontation led to 17 deaths, including students and a bus driver whose body reportedly was brought to a hospital with a bullet wound to his chest. Reports also suggest that hundreds have been injured as well in these protests. Mobile and internet services have been temporarily suspended by the government. The Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina-led Bangladesh government has now said it is ready to hold talks with the protesting students after the protesters called for a nationwide shutdown today. The Indian High Commission in Dhaka has also advised Indian nationals to avoid travel. But here's why the youth of Bangladesh are protesting. As is the case here in India, there are quotas in government jobs for certain categories in Bangladesh. Since 2018, out of the 56% quota for various categories, 30% is for family members of the 1971 Liberation War veterans. On the 5th of June this year, the Bangladesh Supreme Court ordered the overturning of this 2018 order, repealing all reservations, particularly the contentious 30% Freedom Fighters quota. However, the government hasn't completely withdrawn the quota system. Protesters are now demanding the removal of what they call discriminatory quotas from all grades to limit the overall reservation to 5% for the backward populations as identified in the constitution of the country and to pass a bill in the parliament for this. Essentially, removal of the quota for the veterans' family. Now, the protests, remember, are the biggest since Prime Minister Hasina was re-elected to a fourth term in office coming amid high unemployment among the youth. To talk more on this, I'm joined by former Minister of Information of Bangladesh, Mr. Hassan, Hassanul Haq Inu. His party is part of Prime Minister Hasina's government. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for joining us on Mirror Now. First of all, sir, lots of concerns that the students have. These are concerning visuals that have come out of Bangladesh. Why are the students protesting? What has been the major cause of concern for them? Well, at the moment, they are uh, uh, on a, a movement to uh, reform the quota system in the government jobs of the country. Uh, uh, for your information, after the liberation of the country from 1972, the government has uh, 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 put forward a proposal of a quota system where certain handicapped uh, and backward uh, uh, persons of the society uh, are having quota facilities, including the uh, freedom fighters. So in the time last 50 years, uh, certain times the government uh, did amend the quota system. So at the moment, uh, uh, it is almost 56% of the total uh, job. That was the, that is the position. But uh, the, the scrapping of the quota system uh, was uh, put forward by the students uh, in 2018. Uh, then the government hurriedly uh, scrapped the whole quota system. So that was the position as such today. Now, <laughs> some persons went to the high court against this decision of the government. And the High Court came uh, with a decision that uh, it is against the Constitution uh, yeah, because in the Constitution Clause 29.4, uh, it is clearly written that whatever there is in the law, the government will frame laws to bring forward the backward masses, especially the women, children, indigenous peoples, and handicapped, like that. So according to the constitutional direction and provision, the High Court uh, disagreed with the government decision of scrapping the whole, whole quota system. So now the students said, since the quota system is being uh, requested by the High Court to reinstall again, then they, they said that uh, we are uh, wanting a reform. So they went for a movement. So, sir, then can I ask you, when the Supreme Court has stayed the 2018 order, uh, why are the students still protesting? Why are they out on the streets? There have been, you know, casualties as well. What is it that concerns them now? 
Well, because the government has not come up with a clear administrative decision. That is why uh, the students are protesting that why don't the government come with a clear uh, uh, administrative decisions, either by an administrative order or by a law of the parliament. So now, uh, today, the government, after this loss of lives and confrontation, the government law minister has come up with a proposal that, uh, okay, we are for the reform, and uh, they, are, uh, they are eager to sit any moment with the students, activists. Okay. That's the latest position, and the student activists have just replied that we are not going to the dialogue table, but we will put forward a written proposal in writing to the government. So that is the latest positions, but the students have not postponed their movement as yet. Okay. Um, sir, you know, the students are particularly calling out the 30% quota for the family members of the 1971 Liberation War veterans. They are calling it biased. Why do they have an issue particularly with this quota? It is one of the issues that they think that it is uh, is too much. Uh, the, our position is uh, that uh, well, uh, when we say that we'll reform the agenda, reform the system, then we can look into the, the percentage uh, mm -hmm. of the, the allotted quotas. Even we can scrap also. So <clears throat> we, have to, we don't have a hard position. So it, the 30% quota can be brought down to 10% or 20% or 15%, whatever it is. But uh, uh, in principle, the high court opted to keep or keep the quota system. So now I think uh, and we think that the students' proposal and the government position and the court position is almost uh, same. So there is no point of losing life and confrontational politics. That is giving a handle to the, the identified communal terroristic networks of the country headed by Jamaat Islami and especially those who boycotted the elections, the one of the parties, BNP. So they are trying to use this issue, quota issue, into the into an ouster of the government issue. That is the situation. So the conspirators have already mm -hmm. infiltrated into the students' movement. So whatever violence you have seen at the moment, uh, confrontation with the uh, government forces and police forces or RAF forces, it is uh, led by these identified communal forces, actually. They are pushing the student movement to a confrontational position, violent position, so that uh, it is a bloody affair. And then the government will be in a very awkward position. So what is our proposal now that the, let the students come to the table because we agree on the reform. So there might be some debate from the percentage of quota. That can be plus minus, but in reducing the percentage of quota for the freedom fighters family or scrapping the quota of the freedom fighters family, actually certain quarters are trying to take a position against the, the liberation war. That is a political position. So that is a different thing, but that is in the, if you look at the Facebook, social media and everything, you will see that they are trying to take a position against the freedom fighters. Okay. That, that is the position. Okay, Mr. Asanol, you know, the students are saying that they want, uh, you know, this to be passed in the parliament, the removal of the entire quota system and just limit it to 5% of what the constitution of Bangladesh guarantees. I want to ask you, what is stopping the Sheikh Hasina government from doing this, from actually doing what the students want in the country as per the constitution? This time, the government and the Prime Minister, uh, uh, actually they're handling the situation alone. They have not discussed with us, that is a problem. Uh, so uh, our uh, idea is that uh, the government has done a mistake to, to take a late decision. I think they could have uh, taken a decision seven days back and solved the problem then and there, and then we, we don't have to see the loss of lives and confrontation. Okay. My last question then, Mr. Hasanul, 
What is your way forward now? What is your plan forward now? How do you plan to take this forward with the protesting bodies of students? Well, I think the government has already come forward uh, with a concrete proposal that they will ask the Supreme Court on Sunday when the office opens to bring forward the hearing date, number one. They have agreed and declared that in principle they are for reform. That is a very good sign. Third, they said they are eager to sit with the students and sort it out on the table. Lastly, they have uh, uh, formed a high-powered judicial inquiry team to investigate into the deaths of the person for the last two days. So I think the government has uh, now is very positive. I think uh, we can uh, gradually diffuse the situation. All right, uh, we'll leave it there. Mr. Hassanul Haq Enu, thank you very much for joining us, sir, on Mirror Now and helping us understand the perspective of the students' bodies as well as the government. We'll have to see how this really moves forward and hopefully we'll have a peaceful situation soon in Bangladesh. Thank you very much, sir.